This right here is a photo of my dog. Do you see anything wrong with it? But there is. I have encrypted a virus inside this photo so that the bits of this photo act like the virus. Sounds interesting, right? I know. This photo actually acts as a malicious software which can completely compromise your system in less than 3 seconds. You can put whatever you want in this photo and if the user will open it, it will completely infect his system. Now disclaimer, this video is only for educational purposes and if you want to try this out, you can do it at your home computer or with someone's consent. All right. So with that cleared out, let's get started and let's start hacking. So first let's explain what's going on and how we can put a virus inside a photo. Right here I have my dog. His name is Google. And right here is the bits and bytes that is making up this photo of Google. Here, as you can see, we have got some red bits, some green bits and some blue bits, which is known as RGB, which can form any color known to man. Here, all of the bits inside this photo are made up of these small chunks. And what we are doing, we are taking the Trojan file and we are putting small increments of data of that file inside the bits of this photo which changes the photo a slight bit which we cannot actually notice here. So once we crypt the file inside this photo, I'm going to show you how to do that. Once we do that, this photo will change just a slight bit in each of the corners, but we won't be able to notice that. So we just put the file inside the photo and we take some bits out of it and put some inside. That's how this entire thing works. So now we are going to be using a tool that is named Steg hide, which takes any file, whether it be a photo or video, it does not matter. It'll just take any file and put it, encrypt it with another file that we want. So it can be a secret file, it can be a passphrase. Let's say I want to communicate a secret to my friend, and we both know Steg hide, and I can encrypt that photo with that password that I or with the secret that I am about to share with him. I can share the photo, and he can decrypt it without any tools or any key, right? So here, as you can see, we have got this tool and. This this is an amazing tool which is developed by Stefano Di Vuno. All right, so I don't know who that is, but here is the entire README that we are going to be needing for this project. Here, as you can see, we have got the introduction to what it does. It is a steganography program that is able to hide data inside various kinds of image or audio files. The color respectively sample frequencies are not changed, thus making the embedding resistant against first order statistical tests, right? So as I told you, it changes it a little bit, but it is not noticeable. The features are compression of embedded data, encryption of embedded data, all right? So uh, these are the dependencies that we need. All right, so here I am on my Parrot system, which is a security OS, if you don't know. and here, as you can see, I've loaded up the GitHub page for Steghide. Steghide, as I told you, is a tool that is used to embed our photos with a secret message or a Trojan that we can use to decode it whenever we enter another system. All right. So here, as you can see, we have got all these files for this GitHub page. And all right. So this is called Steganography. And Steganography literally means uh, covered writing. It is a goal to hide the fact that the communication is taking place. This is often achieved by using cover file or embedding the secret message into this file. All right. So that's exactly what we are going to do. And it is telling us how to install it is in Linux and Unix. All right. So uh, I am on uh, the Parrot OS system and I'm on Linux system. So we don't need to do all this. So I'm just going to open my terminal and I'm going to type sudo apt get install stag height all right so it is already installed for you it will install completely if you are in on a unix system and if you are on a windows system you can use the source forge yes this link right here so it is all given in this github page so you can install it from there right so from here we are going to be using stag height so let's just type stag height so this is all the information that we need all right so we, if you need to embed the file, okay, secret cover file, embed into file, embed the file and embed into file. So we only need these two and there are a ton of options. All right, so let's just try it. So uh, let me just create a new window of new tab and let me just go on my desktop. Here, as you can see, we have got the image of my dog, Google. And here we are going to be creating a secret file, secrets.txt. This is a hidden, all right, let's just do that, press enter. So now we have got this file right here, secret, 
and then we have got the hashes file right here right let's go back on to stack height all right so we are going to be using stack hide right and then we are going to using the embed command then let's see what we have here let's use the ef command right and then we're going to enter the file name and here we're going to be entering the secret message so that is in first let me check which directory are we in so pwd we are in all right so we are in this directory and we need to go to desktop and then we need to enter our commands all right got it so we need stack height embed then ef and then we need to slash desktop all right slash home all right so first let's do a bit of dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash so that we get into the root directory then we get home and then desktop then we need the secret message that we need to encode right so the secret message is secret dot text and then we need to use let's see what all commands are there here let's we we need to use a cf command to embed which file we need to put that in so let's use a cf command and we need to put it in the same one here all right so we use this home then again desktop then we need google's image right and let's see the magic happen we press enter and we need to enter passphrase all right so i'm gonna select passphrase so this passphrase will be used to encode the photo as well as decode it whenever i need okay so we need to re-enter the passphrase all right so it's done so let's just open the photo and see if something seems different so we need to go inside desktop to do that right open right nothing seems different if we just rotate it right it's it is the exact same photo but now what people don't know is that there is a secret message embedded in here so this file that I just put was a, just a secret message that I can embed inside that photo. But you can make this to be anything you want. It can be a Trojan or it can be literally anything. And one, whenever it goes into the system, it will explode and that system will get infected. That's how easy it is. And that's why people keep telling you not to click on malicious links and download malicious photos from untrusted websites that can do this to you. So you saw it's that easy to do right and now i'm going to take this photo and i'm going to put it in another system so let's go on stack hide itself so let's just imagine that i am on another system now and if i send this photo to someone he can decode it very easily all right so now let's go on to our help function and see what we can use to decode it all right so we need to write the result to this instead of a cover file and then the encryption embed file specify passphrase all right so now to extract the data let's just select this and we need to specify extract and sf google image or dpg so now we need to enter the passphrase i'm going to enter the same passphrase as i used to decrypt the data whoops encrypt the data and it was this the secret file does already exist overwrite no and okay so let's just go again i'm gonna specify the password and I'm gonna select yes and we wrote the extracted data to secret.txt right so we took the data and we put it in another file so if i did not have so let me just remove the secret file so let me just remove secret and then let me just run this command again i entered the password and it wrote the extracted data to secret.txt. I removed that file, but as soon as I press ls, I've got a secret.txt and it will be the exact same, this thing. This file is hidden and shh, right? So you can put malware in this, you can put any, uh, you can, you know, you can put any secret in this. So this is basically another form of cryptography, you can say, but it is not that uh, easy to decode. It just takes a password to decode it, right? So I won't uh, consider this secure but it is a very interesting form of cryptography where you can hide data inside other data. So that's it with this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash that like button down there, subscribe to the channel. If you're into cybersecurity, bug bounty, ethical hacking, and all cool tech stuff, be sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.